Hey guys, so today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to customize your Windows 7 taskbar. Uh, so actually, I really wasn't planning on doing this tutorial, uh, but in my, one of my recent screencasts, I've got about, I got a ton of comments, people asking, how did you do that, what's that theme? So basically, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it yourself. shouldn't take you just a few minutes. Basically, just download one program, and I'll show you how to customize the icon. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need to go ahead and do, and of course this is Windows 7 only, uh, the first thing you're going to need to go ahead and do is download this program. It's called Windows 7 Start Button Changer, which I know is a fantastic name. So basically the way you work this, basically just go ahead and download it, and I'll show you, it lets you allows you to customize fully your Windows 7 Start Button. Okay, so once you download the program, just go ahead and open it up, and it's really pretty simple. Uh, so there are two options. There's obviously the main one, which is to select and change your start button. Um, however, one thing I do want to let you guys know about is that there's another one that's basically that restores your original uh, home, uh, rather your original start button. I uh, actually want to do this because the program, when you pick a custom one, and maybe you might not like it. Obviously, you know I customized it a bunch myself. Um, if you don't like it, all you need to do is go ahead and click the original restore button backup it'll revert you back to the normal one and then you can pick another one if you try with one customize and then you try another customize uh, a lot of times it won't work so go ahead and just restore the backup and then try again if you're interested so let's go ahead and just show you a few of them that are already pre-built as you can see here when you download the program it does come with 10 sample orbs pre-built uh, now actually uh, Debian art is a fantastic place if you don't like any of these you absolutely can download many many more uh, it's no big deal and all you need to do is just go ahead and point the program towards it um, but for this I'm gonna go ahead and just show you there are 10 pre built and I do like quite a few of them in fact I do like this one as you can see here right there um, it actually kind of uh, fits well I can't see it but you can't it fits well with my background so again pick you can pick any of these you can make your own or you can download some so go ahead and just pick that out and there you go now let's go ahead and move on to customizing your icons uh, so this one is a lot simpler uh, pretty much it, it comes down to picking what kind of icons you like uh, so this is the one I'm currently using it's token um, now of course we'll have a link to this one as well in the description uh, so basically you can go ahead and just download this and indeed uh, just the same way with your start button you can create your own or you can search Debian art is great for finding tons and tons and tons of custom icons so absolutely feel free to find your own but anyway if you're interested in this one you can go ahead and download it let me just go ahead and show you it's pretty simple to how to add it so let's say, you know, I will say that there are programs that will do this automatically for you. But personally, I found it's, you know, it's a lot easier to just go ahead and do it yourself manually. It doesn't take a minute. Um, so let's just go ahead and show you how to do it. So let's actually go ahead and pick uh, GIMP. So basically what you need to do is you need to right click whatever your icon that you're wanting to change. And then come up here to where it says the name of the program, which should be right on the bottom. Now right click this and hit properties. So as you can see here, it will bring up the little properties of dialog. Now come down here and hit change icon. Now, once you're in change icon, all you need to do is find it. So just look for browse. I'm going to go ahead and go down to. Oops, I'm going to go ahead and go down here to the token file. And obviously, it, it, during this step, you go ahead and pick whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and just look through here. Go ahead and just pick out um, the the token. Uh, theme does have quite a few or the token icons whatever you want to call them it does have quite a few in dark as well as light um, so you know maybe you can look for you know maybe you want to look like an airplane uh, now this one actually does have quite a few icons and actually as you can see here it does have an icon for GIMP but obviously this is totally customizable you, customizable. you can pick whatever you want so maybe I want GIMP to look like a camera or I want GIMP to look like QuickTime you can do pretty much anything you want so guys, that's pretty much it as far as how to go ahead and customize it. Basically what you need to do is restart, do each, each and every icon. Um, now it doesn't have icons for everything, obviously. So you know, you might want to mix and match or do whatever you want. And then as soon as you're done, uh, now again, actually it's kind of the same with the start button. If it's not showing up for you, just restart your computer. That should do it because it has to recache all of the icons. But once you do, it sh they all should pop up and it should look pretty much like I have here. Or indeed, however you customized it. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.